here we have fountain 1740 this fountain has a extra tall spout a faucet it's in size extra large and it has a secured cool lid cool lid is a lid that has a wide rim and a narrower uh, drinking area in the middle a drinking ring so if a water loving cat drinks out of the fountain and starts playing with it it uh, hinders it to scoop the water out and if it tries to put the pour in the water rim till it's out here it uh, water can drop to the rim and flow back inside so other thing is if you have a long hair cat and you don't want that uh, the chest gets uh, soaked with water when the cat sits here front of the fountain then the dry area here will uh, bend will cover the the hair and uh, just the mouse will go in uh, this drinking area. I have special fountains uh, for Persian cats with uh, drinking holes in it where they can drink just out of the holes. So this fountain as I said has a nice faucet. It's an extra high faucet. It's approximately 6 inch high. The drinking area, the drinking height is a bit slower. It's uh, lower. It's not uh, as high as other fountains I made, and it's glazed in a nice blue. This blue has a bit of structure, so it's not just plain blue. It has a yeah structure in it. So, so you can have uh, different kind of sifts. Sif covers. This sif cover has a possibility to secure it. You use a pin and pull the pin through it underneath so kitty can't pull it out. Then you have here security pins. Oops, I have problems getting out. So they have a bend in it, so it's a bit under tension. But when you push it in, this bend it acts like a spring and uh, holds the security pin in place. Otherwise, your cat would like to pull it out itself. You can adjust this uh, spring thing with a little plier so it's not a big deal so what else is to say this fountain can also have a UV light here we have a UV light with a 12 volt low voltage transformer the UV light goes inside pushed to the floor of the fountain and uh, and yeah so the UV light will uh, sterilize the inside of the fountain and disinfect it it's good against bacteria and all kinds of stuff that react of UV light so For demonstration I put a uh, adjustable power transformer to this fountain just to show you how different flow rates look like. So this is next higher setting and another setting and even higher. Good. This is the lowest. And I like this most. The pump itself has also a possibility to adjust the flow. 
in case this is still too much for your cat. Good, let's look inside. Let's switch it off. Take SIF cover and SIF out. You have a little tool, you see. Here is the pre-filter. It's a foam pad inside the stainless steel. It's a special stainless steel. It's 18.8. Let's pour the water out into the bowl. Now you can see filter housing and pump. Let's go a bit closer so you can look inside. So here you can see the filter housing and there the pump. Other than this nothing is inside so it's easy to clean. Same the lid on the side, there are no hidden corners, nothing. We offer different filters. This one is a is our biofilter. It has loose charcoal inside. It has a media bag inside with loose charcoal, with bulk charcoal. It's the most economic uh, possibility to let the fountain run. Or you can have a Drinkwell 360 filter system. There is a Drinkwell cartridge inside, you see. So you just pull it out, put a new one in. It costs a bit more, but it's easier to, to deal with. You can also use the fountain with D-cells. This one is a D-cell adapter, a D-cell holder for, uh, for D-cells. I use this open D-cells, D-cell adapter in our uh, cordless uh, battery fountains. But for demonstration, I can show how it works here. Just disconnect it, connect this one and You run on battery power. You can hide the battery in a box, for example this one. Put diesel and cable inside and Put the box behind the fountain and you have a battery fountain. Or you can use instead of the D-cells a USB battery. Here is a small anchor. We provide the adapter cable and you provide whatever USB battery you like to have. And then it runs on a rechargeable USB battery. Okay, that's it. Thank you.